I think I like I would just love to be a cowboy. Congratulations on this show. What excited you most about taking on this role? I mean, playing a cowboy. As, as a child, I, I, I desperately wanted to be a cowboy and never thought I would be. Um, so Michael has given me the chance to live a childhood dream out on screen. Um, and then the skills. I mean, you know, getting to learn to shoot and ride and lasso a cow at 30 miles an hour on horseback. I mean, these are things that you just kind of can't make up. And, and a northern lad from England wouldn't usually get the chance to do other than being given a chance like this. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a true honor and a pleasure. I got to play a Mexican cowboy, which you don't see a lot of on TV. You know, you get to see, you can see cowboys and you get to see Mexicans and they're often like sort of on the side and they're like, they say a line or two. But Michael Hurst script, this beautiful script where everybody has equal footing in this, in, in this Southwest that he is depicting, everybody is fighting for survival and it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, we're all essentially equals. And that was the biggest draw for me. That was, that was huge. I think this guy here, Michael Hurst, uh, I'm a big fan of Vikings. And also, back in the day, I watched Tudors too. And I just love how he creates drama from history in a way that is relatable, exciting. And, you know, sometimes history can be a little bit boring, but he just seems to, to grab all of the drama and all of the excitement out of the history that he's interested in. Billy the Kid's been a hero of mine since I was a boy, since I was six or seven. Uh, I haven't seen many of the depictions of him, but I, a little bit, and I do know, of course, that as an outlaw, he's mainly depicted as a sort of psychopathic killer, you know, a cold-blooded killer. And I thought it would, might be a good idea to, to do some research and find out who he really was, what he really did what he believed, and that's what I did. And, and Epix gave me the opportunity to dig into the real material and find out, do an authentic portrait. Research of Billy the Kid, what was your favorite thing that you learned about him that you kind of got to bring into the show? Uh, honestly, I think, I think the fact that he's a mummy's boy uh, is kind of amazing to me, because we think of him as this brutal killer and someone who killed 21 people in 21 years and all that sort of stuff. But the fact that he, you know, it's all driven by this love for his family and the defense of his family. And then once he loses his family, a defense of their honor and their morals and their kind of, you know, what, what drives them as a family unit. And so I think that was both surprising and kind of gave me something to hold on to. Any time that I, I wasn't sure what drove him, I kind of remembered that, you know, he loves his mom. <laughs> this is a man who like loses everyone at a young age and then just tries to do, do right by them. And uh, I think that's a pretty universal feeling. What was the best and the worst part about playing a cowboy? Uh, oh, there's a lot of bests and not many worsts. I think I like, I would just love to be a cowboy. Um, I love the horse riding. I love learning to rope. I love, we basically got to chase cattle through fields and got taught how to like wrangle them properly. And it's quite funny, we're all just actors that are thinking like, oh, this is so cool. But you're hanging out with, you know, with real like ranch hands and like real cowboys. And you know, it's every day to them. And uh, so it was cool to learn from them, not just kind of how to do all these things, but what doing it every day and kind of being in that environment every day kind of how that affects you as a human. What are you excited for viewers to see in season one with your character or in the show in general? I think I'm excited for the kind of relationship that we are portraying on screen. Uh, we're, I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're growing as, uh, as humans and we're learning about all the things that we grew up with that are not necessarily healthy and stuff like that. I saw very healthy relationships in that show. I saw unhealthy relationships and I saw those being explored and, and just like human interaction and, and, and how we think about as like, you know, back in the day this, back in the day that, no, like a lot of that, a lot of those like guy, guy relationship are still sort of toxic in certain ways. And we get to see all of that just in a different setting. And that was really exciting to me, like to see sort of like these things that we're contesting with nowadays being played out back in the day. I think because this is the origin story of Billy, it's exciting to see that how their relationship, the relationship between Billy and Pat started and began. Uh, that, you know, they had some kind of a bond 
you know, and uh, it, Pat definitely has a level of admiration for Billy and the way that he handles situations. I'm excited for people to see the, the origins of their relationship, which, spoiler alert, ultimately is going to go south. I think you should tune into Billy the Kid because it's a brand new look at a story that everybody thinks they know, but uh, probably don't know the real depths of it. Yeah.